Hi there, good evening. Uh, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, May 17 to 19, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Aboy Tis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Naga College Foundation, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. Now, the Philippine Islands is uh, clear or free from any uh, major weather system, except for those afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms all throughout the archipelago. And outside of power, we are monitoring uh, not just one, but two low pressure areas. The first one, which we mentioned this yesterday, is a shallow LPA-96W, and is currently quasi-stationary in the vicinity of uh, Palau. Meanwhile, to the south of Guam, we have another low pressure area that uh, is currently developing. This is 97W, but it has a low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. It is also quasi-stationary, but this is an area of interest since for the next uh, 5 to 7 days, it is likely that most of the uh, reliable computer models is uh, developing this system into a uh, tropical cyclone and worst it could become a very powerful uh, typhoon and we won't be surprised if it reaches super typhoon intensity because of the warm sea surface temperature right now across the western pacific which is around 28 to 30 degrees centigrade so we are uh, going to bring you the very latest on this one as the uh, week progresses to the weekend and we shall see what will be the track of this uh, lpa i'm going to show to you in a while the forecast uh, track of this uh, low pressure area so that you'll know what will be the threat to our country now let's take a look at the uh, fast animation so there you go Here's now the uh, LPA that we are monitoring, 97W. We, don't, uh, we are not going to uh, uh, focus our attention on 96W. This, this is somewhat a dissipating system. So it's more on this uh, uh, right. It's more on 97W that is keeping us more attention as we move into the third week of May. And if you take a look at the zoom in solid animation, there you go, beginning around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. As of this time, there are lots of thunderstorms that affects uh, the uh, various sections of the country, from Mindanao, Visayas, and portions of Luzon. And if we take a look at the wind and pressure forecast from the European model, by tomorrow afternoon, we could expect some... Light southwesterly winds affecting uh, Batanes and Babu and Gobo Islands, while variable to uh, light winds in uh, <clears throat> in different directions will be expected across the F uh, Philippine Islands. And on Friday afternoon, we expect uh, the uh, southwesterly to westerly winds to prevail across Batanes, Babu and Gobo Islands, while the rest of the country will remain under calm to variable winds and here's now the LPA on Friday May 19 that's the LPA that we are monitoring right now we have some westerly winds uh, moving into the circulation of uh, LPA 97W on Saturday again calm conditions to variable winds or variable light winds will be expected across the philippine islands and here comes now lpa 97w slowly moving north on saturday so if we are going to uh, give you the very latest on this uh, lpa including the uh, computer models uh, american gfs and the uh, european ecmwf i'm going to show you what will be the possibility of it of the truck moving into the philippine sea so uh sunday afternoon there you go becoming a tropical depression monday afternoon still a tropical depression tuesday afternoon it could become a tropical storm wednesday afternoon may 24 still a tropical storm to the west of guam and on thursday may 25 it will start to move west northwest closer to the North Philippine Sea as a tropical storm. And on Friday afternoon, that LPA or that potential uh, typhoon 
is expected to become a severe tropical storm or a category 1 typhoon as it uh, enters the Philippine Sea and is likely to move across the northeastern border of the North Philippine Sea. Now let's take a look on the, on the rain forecast from the uh, windy.com app. So by tomorrow afternoon, we expect more thunderstorms in various sections of the country as well as on Friday and on Saturday. So that will be the outcome every day. We are expecting these thunderstorms because we are now approaching the uh, monsoon season which is set to begin by June. But if the uh, projected uh, tropical cyclone moves into the Philippine Sea, we will be having the first taste of the uh, southwest monsoon across the western sections of the country as we uh, continue to uh, move into the month of June. Okay, so that will be the forecast to Saturday and if we move into Sunday, there are still some chances of thunderstorms in various sections of the country. Okay, and now before we uh, leave you, here's the uh, Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center issued every uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, actually every Tuesday and every Wednesday we are giving you now the latest on this one. So valid for the next two weeks on week two, valid May 24 to May 30th. The Philippine Islands will have above average rainfall as well as uh, 40 uh, percent or more than 40 percent of tropical cyclone formation to the west and east of the country okay while on week three valid may 31st to june 6 the philippine islands will have more than 65 uh, percent of above average rainfall as you can see here as uh, so the southwest monsoon will eventually kick in during the last few days of may into the first week of june Okay, so that's the uh, very latest on the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook. And there you go. Uh, this ends our update for this uh, Wednesday evening. And we will return this coming weekend to give you more updates on the weather, particularly the upcoming LPA-97W, which is likely to become our next tropical cyclone. And uh, we will uh, observe that system in the coming days. So stay safe always. Thank you so much for watching our channel.